we have a uniform disk of mass big M. And we want to calculate its moment of inertia. To do so, uh, we use familiar, hopefully familiar, um, techniques from calculus. Uh, we're going to take the polar axis and we're going to partition the polar axis from 0 to big R. So partition the axis from 0 to R. Okay? We take a typical interval in that partition, and that's going to be our ith interval. And it's going to be at some radius um, which I'll call R star, R sub I star, from the center. And we want to know how much mass corresponds to that particular partition. Well, that's how much mass lies between uh, the left and the right-hand side. So let's say that the uh, interval length is delta R. Okay, so how much mass between I'm having trouble with words, so I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, I didn't give myself any good notation here, but I'm going to say how much mass lies between R sub I minus 1 and R sub I from the center. I could easily write this out in more formal notation, but I want to get the idea. Okay, so the idea is here's your ith interval, and uh, ith interval is going to be considered to run from r i minus one to r sub i. Now, how much? Uh, mass is between this distance from the center and this distance from the center is, well, how much mass uh, is between, give me a little A here to draw a circle, is between this badly drawn circle and this one. In other words, how much mass in the ring. So this is the mass in a ring we'll say of width delta R radius R star. Okay, we could have used the word thin, a thin ring of uh, this radius r star. Now, of course, the radius varies a little bit from here to here, but we're considering delta r to be small, so uh, that as long as we use any radius between here and here, we're going to be okay. All right, so you, know, you should answer this question. You should pause and answer the question, how much mass lies between these two distances from the center? Uh, you can use the ideas that we developed in calculating the mass of or the moment of inertia of the washer. 
uh, you might want to calculate the mass density, for example, and use that. So you should do that. And uh, I'll write a few things down. Uh, pause for a second so you don't have to watch me write everything. Okay, first of all, the uniform density of this thing is just the mass divided by the area, uh, which is just mass over pi big R squared. Okay, so what's the, uh, and we want to get the ring mass, what's the ring area? Well, the area of the ring is uh, its circumference times its thickness, because if we took this ring and uh, cut it out and cut it at any point and spread it out, it would have a length equal to the circumference and a width equal to the thickness delta R. Circumference um, Okay, that's the width, delta R. The length is two pi R star. Okay, so we could call that the uh, area increment. We could call that delta A sub I, where we have an R I star. We'll assume. Uh, uniform delta R's. It's not necessary to do that, but we'll assume uniform delta R so we don't have to write I's on them. Um, okay, so what's the mass? Well, the mass is delta M sub I equals delta A sub I, the area, multiplied by density, which is M over pi times big R squared. Okay. Uh, and uh, the delta A sub I is this. So we get 2 pi R sub I star times M over pi R squared times delta R. So that's a mass contribution of this ring. Okay, well, what's the moment of inertia of the ring? Well, all the mass of the ring is concentrated close to uh, distance r star. And I should have r sub i star down here. Been using r sub i star. Okay, so. Uh, All the mass is at distance near R sub I star. So moment of inertia sub I, the moment of inertia for the i sub interval is uh, the mass in the ith interval times r sub i star squared. Okay, just uh, going with the principle that moment of inertia uh, of a mass at a distance r is m r squared. Uh, this follows immediately. So now, what's the uh, total moment of inertia? Of course, we have an expression for delta m sub i uh, that does depend on r sub i. So we gotta, uh, we're, we're going to have to uh, use that. Um, so uh, let's see. I'll say equals what? And total moment of inertia is approximately what sum which approaches what interval? 